Pinellas deputies predator towards women fired, Sheriff says. Brian Overton, a member of a prominent Florida legal family, admitted to using his position as a deputy. That is scary. This man has a badge and a gun, and he's out here preying on women. A Pinellas County Sheriff's deputy made unwanted sexual overtures to multiple women who called the agency for help, leading to his firing Monday, Sheriff Bob Galtieri said. Brian Overton, a former St. Pete Beach police officer who joined the Sheriff's office when it took over that jurisdiction in 2013, admitted that he regularly used his position as a law enforcement officer to pursue sex with women he met on the job, Galtieri said. Overton comes from a prominent family in the Florida legal world. His father, William Overton, served for decades as a Pinellas County Court judge, and his grandfather, Ben Overton, was a Florida Supreme Court justice. Again, when you come for these kind of families and when you have this position to power, it, it, it comes at no surprise that you actually abuse it. It comes at no surprise that this would happen. Again, it's just a very scary story if you are a woman. You gotta think to yourself, when you look at judges, right? Judges give police officers so much deference and this is this is basically why you're seeing so much reform talk now and and you're seeing so many riots and demonstrations and protests you are seeing this because of the the advent of social media and also cell phone video because without those videos police officers get so much deference without that cell phone video you would have never seen a freaking conviction with george floyd or walter scott or any other freaking p police murder let's keep it a buck here the vast majority of police murders you know cops killing people are never even prosecuted in fact you never even hear about it even with cell phone videos you still don't hear about it. imagine the level of ego you're dealing with here the level of narcissism that you're dealing with here multiple complaints precipitated overton's firing galtieri said in june 2020 galtieri said overton responded to a call from a woman in saint pete beach whose father had just died afterward overton started having contact with her trying to start a relationship with her telling her he wanted to help galtieri said the text quickly transitioned to a personal conversation with some comments being sexual in nature according to an eternal affairs report overton also sent photographs of himself including one that that showed him in uniform. He took advantage of her in a very vulnerable position to take advantage of a tax-paying citizen whose father just passed away. Do you understand how disgusting that is? Overton never initiated physical contact, Galtieri said, but what he did was inappropriate. He was given a written reprimand. Then in February of this year, Overton responded to a child abuse complaint from a woman who was in a custody battle with her ex-husband, Galtieri said. He found no evidence of child abuse, but he told the woman that he still have to file a report with the Department of Children and Families. Early the next morning, Galtieri said, Overton texted the woman to ask if she had any animals in the house because the Department of Children and Families was asking, but this was a ruse to get her attention, Galtieri said. He didn't report the case to the Department of Children and Families until hours later. Later that morning, the woman responded, Galtieri said. Over the course of more than 30 text messages, Overton commented on her looks, told her he'd had a vasectomy, and made other sexual comments, so he wanted to, wanted to let her know, hey, I can't even get you pregnant. Don't take this the wrong way, but you have that attractive, independent vibe. Not a perfect body, but definitely still sexy, Overton wrote, according to the investigation. Minutes later, he added, so do you have a sister or a friend just like you laugh out loud just kidding you're not perfect but definitely still still sexy wow you you think that's a goddamn compliment do you think any woman's gonna hear that and go wow that's amazing i feel sexy now no you just fucking insulted her you piece of shit the woman told her current husband that the text upset her but that she feared going to the sheriff's office because she believed that overton could retaliate in a way that could hurt her her child custody case record show the husband shoot soon filed a complaint telling investigators he believed overton text constituted sexual harassment the woman told investigators that she tried to backpedal out of the conversation but that took nearly two hours she felt sexually harassed she said if i piss this guy off she said what's he going to do that is a good question he's a law enforcement officer with a badge and a gun overton later deleted the text from his own phone he used an application to send the text rather than his personal number because he feared his wife would find him he told in investigation so you are married to and doing this <laughs> oh my god deputies learn about another incident while overton responded as a backup to a traffic stop in the seminole area he looked at the woman behind the wheel and immediately turned around according to the investigation overton left the scene when he realized he knew the woman who was suspected of driving under the influence they had met on a dating app plenty of fish so my man gets around overton told investigators that he had an affair with the woman for about a month but that he couldn't remember her name he's married the whole time in the interviews with investigators overton admitted that he had passed out business cards to women he had met on the job hoping the connections would result in sex this is a predator galtieri said my man was passing out business this car say hey girl if you want that d call me <laughs>